car has got a puncture in the front left. Uh, does that mean that it's got... <laughs> it's difficult to see, but... It's a big bill, isn't it? I mean, GP2 is not cheap at the best of times, and then we come to Monaco, and... Uh... Here we go. Let's have a... Talk us through it, Jerome. So, bad start from... A uh, really bad start from... Uh, Chicotto. Chicotto. Can I as a stalling on the grid? Probably happy about it right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Probably the happiest man in the field. Uh, and then it's... Okay, Oof. so that was... Petrifying. And then we see, you know, even Limer breaks, but you know, and Limer cannot turn because uh, because just Chicoto goes goes straight and he doesn't even he's not anywhere near making the corner. Wow. <laughs> On board with Coletti. Around Kanamasas coming down the start finish straight. Great start from the Monegasque. Let's have a look ahead of us. So as Chicoto not, goes straight in. He's not aggressive at all, it's just he's got no no room to go to. Like, and there's know, just nowhere to go, yeah, is there? There's nowhere to go and I think his suspensions are damaged, but you see Chicote is like, well, not even trying to make the corner, just... Crazy. Oof! I tell you, Jolian was lucky there with all the debris coming up over the side of the car. Riding on board with Alexander Rossi. Right in the middle of the mix. Lockup gets it turned in, and then just... And it was Palmer being spun nice. that caused all of that, wasn't it? Everybody got uh, tucked up behind. Yeah, I think Palmer just tried to avoid the... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, of course, well, Chacon hit the back of Bird, and all of that mess then spun Palmer it, around. It, it probably all starts with, um, with Johnny and, uh, and Fabio. Yeah. And when Fabio wants to turn, he sees that he's going to hit Johnny, so uh, he kind of is forced to go 